reality is always there, hiding, waiting. When you try to step out and operate in a new and different way, it's there to remind you of itself and the limitations of being a human meets you operator in this 3D, 4D, whatever the fuck. It pounces and demands the attention it does not deserve. Reality inside the other reality, the construct, the cube, it deserves no energy, no respect. It has bled you dry, while somehow keeping us all barely alive, just enough like the farmed animals, to look deep enough to see the truth. Our food, our water, our games and distractions are all intended to keep us believing in the lie. The system will somehow reward you if you play the game correctly. Except those rules were written by tricksters. The rules of the game of reality. And, and, and if you miss the fine print, it's not an excuse for the consequences that happen to you. Slippery, inverted tricksters. The best way to win is, is to not play that game, but maybe make up one of your own. Once all the rules have been found and understood, you know, the key is... Don't ask me. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm always on the outside. I haven't learned all the rules yet, or ha I have and don't know what to do with them exactly. I'm so close, and so very close. I know natural law, the connection to spirit guides and higher selves. And as far as I'm concerned, that's the main mission for me. Find the tribe to thrive. Show me your guts and I'll show you mine. I know it's easier if someone else goes first, so that's why I'm here. I'm watching the world crumble from my fortress of solitude and doing my best to tap in and drop into some new way of being, thinking, feeling, living. The release valve is a thing, and I don't know, know much more about it at this moment. But there's duality, and there's balance, and there's a force greater than all of us. And it's not the bearded, compassionate asshole that we are taught about in Sunday school or any other indoctrinating spiritual system that may have been brought up in. They all have truth, and when they all have this direction. Because tricksters run this place, if you haven't noticed. I can't deal with my own mind most days, and so I distract. Music, weed, too much coffee, the golden threads and the trash threads. I distract myself by reaching out to friends and help them because I'm distracted. And ideally, we end up talking about each other's lives and hopefully offer up mutual moral support. I'm seeing some old patterns in myself. Crumbling, throwing out my hands in the air and just getting up. But I'm not, only kind of. I can't seem to figure out my next move. Leaning back into what works is the main message of the week of the age of the Aquarius, apparently. Unless your math is off. What if that's all a PSYOP too? It likely is, in some way or the other. Why would that be off the PSYOP list? Astro astrology's always been one. The, the luminaries exist, but what they are, and what their true and function is, is definitely up for debate. Decoding what is the real and true message of the heavens and what not is the ultimate rabbit hole. And they know that. It's almost pointless. A quest could last a lifetime as well, so what's the point? Navigation. Existence without slavery. Freedom without being pegged as selfish a-hole. Teeter-tottering between self-destruction and transcendence. All the while swimming in delusional optimism and despair. same or opposite or just ignore the lunatic in the corner i don't carry the way i'm only trying to survive and make sense of myself and it's just the reality the best way i can use in my brain and emotion and experiences and talents and skills granted me specifically to continue the quest in this exact way so now just to find the others it'll be like moss or flame build it and they will come okay come out come out wherever you are all the all the oxen for you Psychosis Definition Serious mental illness As schizophrenia Marked by the loss of or greatly lessened ability To test whether what one is thinking and feeling about the real world is really true It seems 
Because I was prepackaged with this psychosis you speak of. I reject the idea that it is an illness with me anyway. And that doubles down on the diagnosis, I suppose, which is a stalemate. <laughs> Questioning reality since 1982 hasn't gotten much, that much easier. Like just more complex. Add and multiply. The fracture is, in, is within all of us. Those who choose to ignore the fracture, that doesn't make them any less sane or insane. It's just different. Choices lead to pathways, effective and ineffective. You can only make sense if it's based on a set of conditions or guidelines to compare it to. And each human has a slightly different vision or version of what is and what isn't. Independent reality brothers merging and commingling and somehow creating a cohesive consensus reality in the end. It honestly only needs about 10% to see the to allow those cracks in the simulation to become large enough to pop in and out of at feeling I have because the high octane coffee that is coursing through my veins or is it the approaching conjunction of Uranus and Mars coupled with the Jupiter Saturn energies and everything else. Yeah, all of the above. And also free will. And so what to do with all this information is the most important challenge as well as the most difficult. Choosing to alchemize or document it can never not be a good thing. Even if it seems counterintuitive. I've never been more certain of anything in all my life. And then, how is there still doubt? That's true. Yeah. Meat suit condition. It's, like, it's powerful and deep and not our faults. Completely our responsibility. And we knew that when we signed up for this shit show. It doesn't matter if you can't remember or don't believe me. It doesn't change the potential power you have, and I have, and we all have as co-creators of this weird-ass, twisted version of reality. Yeah, we're either masochistic or delusional or both. Or it actually, maybe it seems different when we're in between realities. Like somehow the concept of pain and pleasure are the same if you're a light being who is beyond the limitations of the human body. Pain could potentially be seen and felt or imagined the same. And from that perspective, if we're coming here to take part in this spiritual school experiment to somehow raise the vibration of what? One meat suit? One section of this reality? Or is it the entire plan in it? And that's the New Age line that gets the seekers and messianic malcontents to tune in, turn on, and drop out with the hopes of manifesting the new earth. And we all know that at this point, that how like too easy that sounds. And that's why it's being used against us, because we need it easy. We grew up with that idea that easy is the way. Well, not all of us, but still. What the fuck is really going on? 